Yeah, I can never doubt myself. I know better. All of you critics be acting like you know better. Blowing the smoke, but I know when it's Nathan Rogers here with the MMA Futures. I'm joined today by UFC fighter and former Nebraskan Grant Dawson. Grant, how are you doing today? I'm good, man. Uh, thanks for having me on. It's been a it's been a long camp getting ready for this fight. Uh, today was our last day of sparring, and I'm super excited to get this fight going. Man, you know, you just recently made the transition down to uh, American Top Team down there in Florida. I see you getting some sun, man. What is, uh, how has that changed your uh, routine, and how are you feeling down there? Man, I love it. It's 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 really great. Um, the team is just amazing. Everything is, is going great. And like you said, the sun is just absolutely great. We, uh, we don't get snow here, which is probably my favorite thing about Florida. <laughs> man, what does, um, you know, as a... a now higher end UFC fighter. What is a day and what does your day look like? Um, it, it, it's it's pretty great, man. Uh, Monday through Saturday, it's pretty much just wake up, go train, go home, hang out with the wife, and then go back to training. And then Sunday, you got church, and then and then you're done for the rest of the day. So my routine is is pretty uh, similar all the way through the week, but I, I really enjoy it. I enjoy the simplicity of it. Man, congratulations on the uh, recent wedding, man. How's married life? It's really great, man. I, I really enjoy it. Uh, married the love of my life. Last time I fought, I was uh, not married, and now I'm married, so I'm a whole new man. You've uh, on a pretty good, uh, got a pretty good record there in the UFC. I mean, how far do you think you are away from your hopes and dreams of being a UFC fighter and being a champion? Yeah, uh, good question, man. I, I feel like it's one of those things where – I'm at the point where it could be another five fights. It could be after this fight, if, if circumstances, you know, a short notice thing showed up. I'm right in the place where it's like he could step in at any moment, but he's probably going to have I, – I, in, my, in my mind, I've got about five, five more before it's, it's knocking on the door for a belt. You know, you're in a very crowded division at, at lightweight there. Um, what – is what sets you apart from everybody else as far as what makes you marketable, what makes you a better fighter, what sets you apart in general? I think the thing that sets me apart from these other guys is obsession. You know, I think a lot of these guys have, uh, you know, hobbies and they have things that they enjoy doing outside of fight. For me, it's fighting. All I enjoy doing is training and fighting, and I'm trying to get better every single day. And I have coaches that want me to get better every single day. So, they're, they're at home nerding about how they can make me better. I'm at home nerding about how I can make myself better. I think it's just the complete and utter obsession of fighting is what separates me from some of these other guys. It's definitely not athleticism. It's definitely not good looks. It's, uh, it's got to be just how obsessed I am with being good at this sport. Um, you know, being in a gym like American Top Team, you obviously have some of the uh, best training partners out there. Who are, you tra- who are your main training partners and, and how do you feel they make you better? So my main training partner uh, for this camp, my two main training partners for this camp has been uh, Thiago Moises and my buddy Dakota Bush, who came down to help me out. Um, We've got Chris Duncan here. Uh, Gage Young came in for a couple of weeks to help me out. I've had no shortage of looks. Um, Neto, uh, who who just fought Armin this past weekend, we're both getting ready together. He's a striker. His opponent was a wrestler, so we've been training a lot together. There's just no end of guys. good guys at American top team that, that can give me good rounds. And especially when I'm fighting a, a pretty one dimensional fighter with uh, Demir, with him being just pretty much a striker, it's been pretty easy to find guys to come in and, and really emulate him. You know, your background is definitely in wrestling. Um, you've done a good job of adjusting to the striking. Um, what, what have you, what have you improved on the most moving down to coconut Creek and training an American top team? I think it would probably be how comfortable I am on the feet. Um, When I was at uh, Glory MMA, you know, really good gym and whatnot, but we we didn't spar a whole lot. They they weren't big on sparring. It was a lot more rolling than it was sparring. And at American Top Team, they make me spar. They set up my uh, my rounds so that I have good sparring partners that are going to push me on the feet but not hurt me. So I'm just getting more comfortable defending people, throwing punches and kicks and elbows at me, um, which is giving me... I think better conditioning because I'm not getting, I don't have as much anxiety when I'm striking. So I think it's one of the things that's really helped me out the most. And then the second thing would probably be just setting up my shots a lot better. So before I would just shoot on the leg and just try to wrestle, wrestle, wrestle. Now I'm doing a lot better job of setting it up with a punch, setting it up with a kick and, and shooting off of their punches. So my setups and how comfortable I am striking would probably be the, the two things that have helped me the most. 
Man, it's been a little while since we've seen you in the cage. How active do you plan on being this year? I mean, if you come out unscathed, I mean, do you plan on finding another time this year, another two times this year? What are your kind of goals for the rest of this year? I would like to fight as many times as I can this year as possible. Um, unfortunately, it's probably going to be just one more. Uh, I'm one of those guys that I look for fights. I want fights. I ask for fights. I don't say no to fights. And then it just a fight doesn't doesn't seem to show up. So I think it's it's probably going to get one more in this year. I have to get one more in this year is, is my mindset. But if I can get more, I would love more. Man, outside of fighting, I mean, what what do you do down there in Florida? You just spend time at the beach, spend time at the pool. I mean, what kind of stuff are you got doing with the wife and stuff while you're just, you know, you're not training and stuff just when you're trying to relax? You go to the beach. You can only go to the beach so many times before it gets boring. Uh, in camp, I don't really do a whole lot. I kind of just, I kind of just train and then I try to rest and watch TV um, until it's time to go, until it's time to go train again. Um, I enjoy, honestly, I'm going to tell you what my, my little hobby is. I enjoy playing Yu-Gi-Oh with my friends, uh, online, my adult friends online. So, uh, I kind of just jump on that and play that until it's time to train again. Man, you say you're watching some TV. What are we watching these days? Uh, my wife and I were watching Riverdale. Um, we just got, we didn't just get done, but we, we we're really far into this show called, uh, Once Upon a Time. Um, now that Dakota's here, we're going through, uh, all of the Harry Potter movies. That's what we're doing. The Harry Potter movies right now. That's what the, that's what the movie of camp has been. Overall, how you liking it down in Florida? Man, other than being away from the family, I love it in Florida. It's, it's beautiful. The sun is shining. Uh, the warm weather I think is my favorite thing. Uh, even during, you know, Christmas time, it's, it's still warm, but uh, I am going to visit Nebraska after this fight. I'm not exactly sure when, but I'm going to take a week. And I'm going to go down, see family and friends, and I'll, I'll definitely stop by in uh, Lincoln and, and see you guys. Be sure to, to, to give them a follow. Man, tell, tell these guys where to follow you and how they can find you to, to keep track of your career. Man, the best way to follow me is on Instagram. Uh, that's where I'm most uh, – that's where I, I can see the most things and respond to the most things. So that that's probably the best place to follow me. I do want to say, though, I am doing this series on TikTok where I'm talking about how to make it to the UFC using Fight IQ. I've gotten a lot of questions from young fighters. I've gotten a lot of views from young fighters. So if you guys want to go check those out, leave a comment of any kind of questions that you have. Um, also, I've been taking DMs from, from any young fighters that have questions about how to make it and what they should do and what gyms they should train at. I, I'm, I'm here to help, guys. So reach out to me, private message me. Obviously, I can't get to every single message I see, but I get to as many as I can find. And honestly, man, that's great to hear you doing that stuff. Um, you know, I, you know, you started pretty young and, and kind of had to figure it out yourself. Um, I'm happy to hear you doing that stuff, man. Yeah, it, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, you you were around when I was younger, and, and we didn't have a whole lot of guys being out there. It was just kind of take take whatever fight you can find. It, it, it was kind of like the wild wild west. You know, we didn't really have a whole bunch of. Uh, uh, guidance you know we had great role models like Robert Rojas and Jordan Johnson and, and my coaches and stuff like that but you know just because you're a good role model doesn't mean that you quite know exactly what the steps are and so being somebody that has made it and I, I was lucky enough to have good people around me all the time and kind of constantly giving me information and I can look back and say this was really a stupid idea this was a really good idea um, I just I just want to help these younger fighters man I, I want the sport to grow I want the sport to get better I want the sport that when I'm done fighting in in like five years, the sport is so good that I, I would have been nothing when I had fought. You know, I want this sport to get better. That's, that's all I want is this sport to get better. Well, that's awesome, man. You guys, Grant Dawson, um, and have a great rest of your day. Thanks for tuning in, guys.